Okay, they didn't predict coronavirus, but neither did any of us. Anyway, we figured you've had enough of hearing about the coronavirus right now, so we thought we'd stick to the robots and flying cars. And other mind-blowing technologies that are already changing the world, or about to change it. First step, number one, artificial intelligence. Yep, we promised we'd give you robots and we don't like to disappoint. The robots we're talking about don't look like the ones from Star Wars. Lots of them, like Alexa and Siri, you can't even see because they're a computer program. What makes them robots is the fact they can take data, analyze it, and learn from it, and keep on getting more intelligent. Or the ones on Google and Facebook that figure out what ads they should make pop up on your screen. And for when you actually leave your living room, robots are already helping us build stuff in factories, analyze financial reports, act as virtual nurses for patients. In the future, we could be talking about robots we have in our houses that will be able to cook for us, do all kinds of boring jobs, and outside of our houses doing dangerous ones like fighting fires or picking up radioactive waste and a whole load of other things we'll get into later in the video. That's because AI is already combining with pretty much every recent technology, and it's only going to keep on doing that. Number two, brain-computer interfaces. Imagine being able to control a computer mouse and a keyboard or a drone with not a set of controls, but just by thinking about it, or hearing music, not from speakers, but that's being streamed straight into your brain. Maybe that thought blows your mind, or perhaps it even creeps you out. Either way, it's already being developed, and it's coming soon. And leading the way is Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, which is looking at ways to implant a chip into your brain that will be able to communicate with computers. And just in case you thought we made the thing up about streaming music directly to your brain, that actually came from a tweet on Elon Musk's Twitter feed. If the thought creeps you out a bit, you're not alone. But the idea behind it is to help humans compete with super intelligent robots, and it also aims to cure disorders like depression and addiction by rewiring brain patterns. Number 3. 3D Printing But Alux, this is old news. Well, yes, but it's about to go to a whole new level. Of course, we're not just talking about those craft videos that come up on your Facebook feed with decorations people have made with 3D printing. 3D printing fashion accessories, even car parts, is kinda old school now. More cutting edge are 3D printed organs that use patient cells, which will mean they don't have to wait for an organ donor. In China, they've 3D printed an entire apartment block, and the future of 3D printed buildings could bring down the price of housing and solve the problem of homelessness. Also, 3D printed rockets could be on the way too. NASA's already made a 3D printed rocket injector, and the California-based company, Relativity Space, aims to make the first fully 3D printed space rockets for a fraction of what they cost now. And by throwing a bit of AI into the mix, the technology will be able to detect faults in the design and improve on them. But they're not there yet. First, they need to figure out how to 3D print something that's 100 feet tall and out of a material that can withstand the temperatures of takeoff. Number 4. Living Robots Next, a completely different kind of robot. No, not one that's so cute it makes you think it's alive. If you remember Tamagotchis, we're not talking about those. These so-called living robots are made of a real living tissue and could revolutionize medicine. Scientists have taken stem cells from frogs, and they've used computer programs to assemble them into blobs, about a millimeter in diameter. They're not robots as we know them, and even though they come from living tissue, they're not classed as animals either. They're tiny, programmable organisms that can move independently, and can even work together as a team. They might even be able to self-heal their wounds, remove plaque from human arteries, or take medicine into patients' bodies. It's fascinating stuff. Number 5. Augmented Reality If you've played Pokemon Go, you've already used AR, but chasing Pokemon is just the tip of the iceberg with this exciting technology, and the boundaries are just going to keep growing. Overlaying digital images onto real-life backgrounds could have all kinds of applications in the future, like AR manuals. Think of the last time you had to fix a car engine but weren't sure what you had to do. Forget looking for a tutorial on YouTube. Soon enough, you might be able to put on a pair of AR glasses or contact lenses and then look at the engine. With the help of a bit of AI, the software will analyze the problem and then show you exactly what you have to do, and then give you feedback on whether you're doing it right. How about a city guide that doesn't just show you the best restaurants and nightlife on a map? 
but will point it out to you in real time, with menus and reviews appearing next to them. And instead of seeing advertising billboards in the city, your AR glasses will show you virtual adverts tailored for you, which means it's got big potential for advertising as well. Or what about doing some online shopping for clothes and see yourself wearing them, even though you've never been anywhere near them? Getting a preview of how furniture will look in your room, even though it's still in the warehouse, or conference calling someone on the other side of the world and having them appear on your couch. And these are just a few things AR could be bringing to us soon. Number 6. Tactile Virtual Reality for any gamers out there, you'll know when you get hit in a game and you feel a dull thud from your control panel. That is this concept, tactile or haptic feedback, but it's about to be taken to a whole new level. Imagine the same idea but in a bodysuit with sense transmitters all over it. It'll mean that your VR experience lets you feel the experience as well as see and hear it. Body suits like these that let you feel as well as see and hear virtual worlds are already on the market, and they have uses in sports training, rehabilitation, and gaming too. The technology is also being tested for training surgeons. In simulation programs for practicing complicated surgery, it helps to be able to feel resistance of body tissues when they're being cut into or sewn. Programs that can do this make the training more realistic and are already in development. Number 7 self-driving vehicles. Yes, thanks to Tesla, self-driving vehicles are already on the market, but what's being done so far is only the tip of the iceberg. For Tesla and other companies, the goal is level 5 automation. That means there's no steering wheel or pedals. The passenger just inputs where they want to go and the car does all the work. That means we could be looking at a future where most people don't own a car. Instead, there are just fleets of self-driving vehicles on the road, which you just jump into and enjoy the ride. Not so great if you love being behind the wheel yourself, but it promises to reduce congestion and pollution, and it could make parking lots obsolete and free up that space for other uses. And speaking of self-driving vehicles, why stop at cars? In Dubai, the world's first autonomous drone taxis are in development. The company that's developing them, Volocopter, aims to launch them by 2023, and they estimate that by 2030, a quarter of journeys in Dubai will be done by drone taxi. Number 8. Hyperloop When it comes to transport of the future, if drone taxis aren't exciting enough for you, maybe this will be. Imagine doing long-distance journeys at a speed even faster than a jet plane, but without having to be airborne, and potentially with zero carbon impact. Well, that's something Elon Musk is working on. It's a joint project between Tesla and SpaceX, and it's called the Hyperloop. It works by placing a pod inside a tunnel with low air pressure, and as the air resistance and friction are low, it can travel at hypersonic speeds. In testing, they've reached 460 km per hour. They aim to get that up to 1200 km per hour. That's faster than a commercial jet. Oh, and Elon tells us it'll work even better on Mars, where there'll be no need for a tunnel because there's almost no atmosphere there. Good to know. Number 9. Hydrogen Power the hunt is on for alternatives to fossil fuels and a carbon-neutral future. Everybody with common sense knows it's the way forward apart from people working for oil companies or whose election campaigns are funded by them. We've all heard about electric cars, but another option that doesn't pollute is hydrogen power. Hydrogen fuel cells to power engines have been around for a while. In 2015, Toyota produced a car that runs on hydrogen, the Mirai, and by the end of 2019, they'd only sold 10,000 of them. Not a huge number. That's because there are still problems to deal with before hydrogen really takes off. First, even if hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, it's still difficult to put it into pure form. That makes it expensive. By the mile, it's about four times as expensive as gasoline. Second, it's highly flammable, which makes it dangerous. Yes, gasoline is also flammable, but not as difficult or dangerous to store as hydrogen. And this makes the technology more expensive, and a hydrogen vehicle costs about twice as much as a comparable vehicle that runs on gas. But the search is on to make hydrogen more available, safer and cheaper, and if we can do all that, hydrogen could be the power of the future. Number 10. Energy Storing Bricks 
If you think you've got too many wires in your house, this one could be for you because soon enough, instead of having your electricity coming through wires, it could be stored in the bricks in your walls. Combine that with a few solar panels on your roof and we could be looking at steps toward carbon neutral living. And we're talking about regular building bricks, the world's most familiar building material, just ones that have been modified by scientists. The fact they contain iron oxide, that's also the chemical that makes them red, allows them to do this. They're rechargeable. And there's also talk about them being able to directly turn the sun's heat into energy. That would mean you wouldn't even need a solar panel on your roof. The science on this is still in its early stages, but a proof of concept brick has been developed at the University of St. Louis in Washington. What's more, as well as storing energy, it can even power small devices. And Alexers, that's a wrap for today. Which of these technologies do you think is the most exciting? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, what does that mean? You get a bonus, of course. Here it is. Quantum computing. There's more to the future of computing than Apple coming out with Macs that are thinner and thinner and shinier and shinier. There's a completely different kind of computer which is still in its very early days, but it does promise to revolutionize computers in a way that's still hard to fathom. We're talking about quantum computers. Basically, they calculate stuff a lot faster than normal computers, like 100 million times faster, and they do it by using quantum mechanics. That means instead of regular bits, they use quantum bits, also known as qubits. These things behave strangely and unlike regular bits can represent a zero and a one at the same time. Confused? Well, we are too a little bit. And we'll be honest, quantum mechanics isn't really one of Alux's areas of expertise. But we will tell you what quantum computers could mean. On a basic level, super complicated calculations will be done in a fraction of a second. They'll be able to give us data encryption with near perfect security, give accurate weather predictions, help scientists discover miracle materials and miracle cures for diseases, and even revolutionize our understanding of many branches of science. To say this one could be a game changer is putting it lightly. Remember though, quantum computers are still in their infancy, but there are signs of moving forward. Google already has a quantum computer and last year made a quantum leap forward when it took just 200 seconds to solve a problem that was considered virtually impossible. The world's most powerful computers, the ones that aren't quantum, would have taken 10,000 years to finish it. And that one did it in 200 seconds. Crazy.